Hey, and uh, welcome to Chaplin's Corner. Appreciate you taking a couple minutes out of your day to to watch and listen to this. So thank you. Uh, so we've been talking about uh, 10 pitfalls that we need to avoid when we're dealing with conflict. And the first three that we saw last week were using a harsh tone of voice, attacking or criticizing the other person, and jumping into conflict when still angry. Making any of these mistakes almost guarantees a bad result and a damaged relationship. So here are the next four to avoid as well. Number four, don't confront the person at all. Now, sure, it's easier to hold a grudge or talk to everyone else but them about the problem that you have, but, but nothing is solved by not dealing with it. Suppressing instead of expressing our hurts it may be simpler in the short term, but it's only going to damage you and the relationship in the long run. Number five, be careless with your words. Now, it's tempting, I know, to want to lash out and to verbally hurt someone who has hurt us emotionally. But as the old saying goes, two wrongs don't make a right. And it won't make you feel better and be better afterwards. Number six, speak without listening. Conflict is usually more about a person wanting to be heard and less about them trying to prove someone else wrong. So if your focus is only on what you want to say, even when they're speaking to you, you are devaluing them as a person and adding fuel to the conflict. Number seven, don't respect the other person. Now, even if you think that they totally deserve it, no one likes to be talked to disrespectfully. A little common courtesy can go a really long way towards keeping even a difficult conversation calm and civil. So watching out for all of these pitfalls is going to help you navigate your next conflict with, without ruining the relationship that you have with the other person. But if I can help with this or absolutely anything else, please don't hesitate to call me. Be well.